wowzers. It's very intense. Today we're going to focus on fixing the compositions of my mini abstracts. And of course there'll be a few spontaneous transformations. Hi there, I'm Janine. I'm an artist and I share my creative journey on this channel. In today's video we'll get very close to finishing my collection of abstract paintings. In these last stages I like to focus on making each small composition work. I'm also checking if I want to add or change any colours. Basically I'm changing any bits that aren't working or that are simply bothering me. Just a heads up, this collection will actually be available on my website next week. And my newsletter subscribers always get early access to any new work. So if you're interested, I recommend you sign up via the link in the description box below. I think it would be useful for me to make some colour swatches from the ones that I selected here. So I can easily hold them to a painting and then decide if I want to add that colour. I kept on trying to add a blue, but I can see that I haven't really added a blue here. So maybe it's just not working. I might try one and then see if I like it or not. I have a whole video by the way where I swatch colours and then make the larger swatches for my last series. I'll link it up here and in the description below. There's a lot here that I'm already quite happy with, as you might have seen in my last videos. I really like this one, or here the colours, how they're coming together for example. What I want to do now is mainly look at the composition of all the pieces, seeing if the dark and light values are in good places, and also if I want to change any of the colours, which is why I made these colour swatches earlier and they might help me see if I want to introduce a different colour, for example, if I want, let's say, add a bit more of this green and maybe I think, oh, I want quite a large area here, what would that look like? And then these swatches come in really handy. Or do I want a little accent of this orange? And I just see if I like that with the colours that are already there. I'm going to separate them in two piles, I think. The ones that I'm happy with and um, the ones that I'm a bit happier with and the ones where I definitely want to do some work on. So this I definitely want to do some work on. I'm not happy with this big block here. This one I am very happy with. So let's divide them up. And that doesn't mean that I'm not working on the ones that I am happy with. I'm just starting with the ones that need a bit more work. Okay, so I'm going to start with this pile. Let's just start right with this one. That's probably my least favorite one at the moment. So I added this dark, these dark bits here last time and they're very distracting. So either I'm going to add some more light again or even more dark because at the moment the dark areas and the light areas are almost like a kind of similar taking a sim up a similar amount of space I like this little dark bit here so maybe I should reduce that also this is quite a strong line so what color do I want to use for that do I want more of that blue color or that's kind of that blue sort of Add some of that should be nice maybe more of a variation or I could add some more pink actually that would be quite nice I think I'd like that let's, let's do that and I did mark what colors I've used but I'm sort of just gonna wing it 
it's just an inspiration for the kind of color I want. But I've ha you can see I've used all the colors, white, lemon yellow, cadmium red and Dalla Turquoise. That as a reference here. I'm still trying to play while I'm doing some more rational decisions, like what colour and what I want to cover up. So I don't really like this one, um, but maybe if I add a bit of water. And then this colour is a little bit different to what I've already got here, so I want to add a little bit more of that maybe down here. So I'm being a lot more deliberate now with my placement. And then where there's already a bit of pink here, I'm changing it a bit more to this colour. It's very subtle here. Now this one is... i um, really not sure what to do with it. So on this I can probably play a little bit more because it's a lot further from where I want it to be, wherever that might be. Maybe I'll add some lightness here. That might be an idea for the pink. It's a bit more harmonious with the pink, but I have a few bits of green here already, so it might be quite nice. Also got this more muted green. Or go darker. No. Or uh, bright yellow. No. I'm just going to try it with this kind of turquoisey colour. I know this is quite a different colour, but now I do want it more blue. And then I can, of course, remove some of that again. I want to cover up this bit of red here. Make that a bit more solid. And also, I want to remove some of the lines, so they're not as obvious. probably going to go over that with a glaze later to make it look a little bit less foreign but I'll add a touch of this somewhere here and this one is this pink here that's bothering me maybe I'll try and make that quite a lot darker something more more like this kind of purple colour then also add a bit more of that around the edge it's kind of like the colour that's already here I'm just darkening it in a few areas here I'm trying to blend it a little bit in what's already there with some dry brushing. I'm now thinking that this should be light again but a little bit darker around the edges. Yeah, I want to add some more light colour. Just use this that I've mixed up earlier. Let's go over it. I should probably wait till it's, till it's dry, but I can always go over it again. 
did like this little bit of red here. Made it too small now. Try and make this smaller. This dark shape. It's a little bit better compositionally because I've got a large dark shape here and like a medium here and then I've got these smaller shapes. But it's looking a bit messy now. So I'm just thinking where I can add a bit more of a solid area of paint. Maybe over here where I need to need to let it dry. I do like that it's, there's a bit of light pink here and then this is actually a bit darker. And then I have to decide whether I want to keep this light bit or remove it. Here, I do like it overall, but there's a lot going on. I like the variety in colour. Now I have to just figure out where my dark and light values are, It's because it's again quite even. This looks actually more like a darker value, same as this. And then I've got this big blob in the middle. And this is all a bit undefined, and then obviously this is light. I might try my handy trick. Take a picture. And then edit that and go to saturation and then turn that all the way down that's the easiest way of making sure the black and white just has the proper values and you can see it's all quite murky so this is sort of dark values but kind of in the middle and then this is much darker so I think I need to lighten this middle area I'm still leaving a little bit of the orange here. When I notice I'm getting a bit too fearful, I'm just trying to let go of that. I'm just changing the colour of this pink to be a bit more like that orange that I'm using. Yeah, it's not quite working, so I need to do something without thinking. So I might just do that. And then I can always go over that again. I do like that bit of orange underneath here. So now I'm thinking this light is a bit distracting. Maybe I should add a bit more darkness there. Try and make something like this orange. I want to add a bit more of this orange up here. Maybe that's too much. I think this needs to be a little bit darker. So I'm just going to use a gentle glaze. I have to dab that. It's going to be a bit drier. Turn out a little bit too red here. Okay, nothing else much better. I'll put it aside for now. I kind of like that it's a bit more intense uh, in terms of that blue. It's quite different to my other pieces though. In terms of composition, this and this up here are quite similar. So I think I need to want to make one a bit bigger. Either take this down, but I like what's going on here, or make this bigger somehow. If I drag it up here. It's a bit too centered. Or I'll make it smaller. Maybe I'll take it down just a little bit. Maybe 
maybe I'll connect it to this shape here, which is a little bit more orange. I think that's much better. I'm wondering about this light bit at the edge. If I mind that. Not really, I think. This slither here is maybe a bit too small. Could either remove it completely or make it a bit wider. Let's make it a bit wider at the top here. And then get rid of it down here. On this one, I do like the effect, but it doesn't have much. And also, these little bits here bother me. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I do like this red line here. There's also a bit of a line here. Maybe I should make this up here a bit darker and emphasize it. I'm not sure if that was the right call. Maybe I'll add some more intense color down here. This will um, dry a little bit more transparent than this. But I might also add some darker color. like this. Maybe it'll actually make the edge even darker than it is already. I add a bit of the turquoise to the edge for a bit more dimension. Maybe a tiny bit up here. At least it has a bit more contrast now. If you like this video, consider subscribing. The problem with this here is that it's cut right in the middle. I love everything else about it. So I need to either take this up or drag this down. It's going to be more difficult to drag this down. But I'd rather do that than take the brown all the way up. So I'll just see if I can do something like it. it. Might have to be in a few layers. I like how this is now adding a slightly different texture, where it's a little bit more smooth. I want this line to very gently curve a little bit. And this to go down here, so it's like a corner. value I like that a bit more actually I think this needs to be light as well this little bit down here it's very difficult to see but it's got a very gently gentle scratch marks down here or from a pencil or something maybe I should make this a bit more intense and then this one as I said earlier I don't really like this block in here could make it a bit bigger. I do really like this side. Yeah, I could make it 
come further over here. Let's try that. It's a bit more yellow, but then this has got yellow here. I do actually like this little dark bit, so I'll see if I leave that here. Make this light here a bit smaller. And also this bit of light here. It needs to come down a bit more. I like where, the, where it was a little bit lighter here. Now all the colours of this area are quite different, so I want to go over everything to make it a little bit more harmonious. And you might ask, why did I do this here? Why did I add that colour up here? And the answer is, I just felt like it. I have to add a bit more purpley colour down here, in that middle field. Maybe connect this down here. It blends nicely with the still slightly damp paint. And you see I'm going back over what I just did, but it just adds interest the more layers there are. So I'm adding a little bit more down here. And there's this red here, which isn't really anywhere else. I should probably add that somewhere. Do a teeny tiny dot down here. It's barely noticeable. Now you'll notice that this almost looks like a square right in the middle, which compositionally isn't great. I might actually go over it again, this light colour. I wanted more pink though, I did more like the background. This boring old place got me dreaming. Little music boy sings, cause it's all that he knows. Little music boy sings everywhere that he goes. Little music boy sings in his bedroom. His bedroom okay, I'm, I'm gonna leave it for now before I fiddle even more with it. It almost looks like it did before. But the colours are a little working a little bit better, which is why I don't mind it as much. Then let's get this back out. S still not liking this one. I might change this for a slightly lighter and more turquoisey colour. Wowzers. That's very intense. But it might actually help us. I also have this little... It's actually a makeup brush that I haven't really ever used. So I might try and see if I can blend with that. It's very soft actually. Mm, that works really well. Might even go over the pink I did earlier. And scratch away that little bit of dark that I liked. I actually weirdly like that. It's, it looks like it's glowing. Just dab a tiny bit down here. Just so the colour repeats again. Mm, I do really like that now. That was very unexpected. And compositionally I have this larger shape down here and then a smaller one here. And this is kind of a medium value. So it's not as prominent. This here that I did at the beginning, I need to do something about this colour. Definitely doesn't work. Go over with the pink that I've got here. It's more of a kind of apricot colour. 
maybe even with some water, so it kind of does its own thing. I might add a little bit of dark over there. It's a different brush for that. Obviously it's still it's now mixing with the more pastel colour that I've just added. But I'm still just trying to experiment. Add some of that over here. use that funny brush again. It does blend quite nicely. I have a few more uh, makeup brushes that I just bought in a in the pound shop for this particular purpose for painting but I haven't actually used those before. Maybe I should get them out at some point and try working with those. That's made it very blended. I don't know if that's what I wanted. Oh, some of the paint is coming off. Showing what's underneath, that's good. Actually, it's right in the middle though. I don't really want it right in the middle. Let's see if we can scrape a bit more off. I might eventually actually remove this one feature here that I liked, but it's um, just distracting. Let's do it now. Let's do it now. I do it with the dark colour, I did like the dark. Sometimes you have to let go of the one thing that you really like to make the overall painting work. I don't want to add or change anything else. I do you really like that colour though? Maybe I just need to intensify this bit. And I think I could do a wash over this area with just a tiny bit of the orange and some water. Just very, very slightly to add a little bit more interest there. Maybe some more darker, a bit darker orange here. Now this one looks a little bit boring. I like how there's a bit of green here, which isn't really anywhere else. I might try and add some of this. Just try and be fearless. And I want to make this part a little bit warmer. So I use basically that orange I've just used. But maybe not as much. A little glaze over that. It's much more interesting with the green now. I think I have to move this up, but the colour isn't quite right. Cover some of this light area down here. I might have to connect this. Just simply like that. A very gentle stroke. Also, this isn't quite straight. Let me see if I can get that straight. Now, I want to add a little bit more here. I think because this is almost like a purple colour. I want to make it a little bit more like that. Maybe I'm being too fiddly with it. Maybe I should do some bold gesture again. I do like this though, just kind of repeats. Maybe I'll also make the 
this down here a bit more in that colour. I did say I could try and make these marks down here a bit more visible. I might actually lighten this here so it's a bit more glowy. And then a touch over here. Too much, but I can reverse that. Okay, just thinking what I could use for that. I've used these ink tents uh, before on some of these. This is the lightest one I've got. This is called Tan, but it's probably not going to show up very well. It's probably the one I used for this actually. So what I might do instead is use either a tiny brush or a skewer. I'll try the skewer first. I want some of these coming down all the way. I'm not sure I like that. Maybe I'll go back over it. And this is a slightly different colour, so that will add a, some more dimension again to this area down here. see what that looks like when it's dry. I think this is very disconnected from the background. So I might continue those yellower bits over here. Again with more of a wash. And a bit more orange. Like a redder orange and this is just a glaze I mixed it with water so it'll be kind of transparent when it dries also this green up here doesn't work anymore I'll add a bit of this orange while I've got it in the middle here I haven't worked on any of these, but I think I really like them as they are. Let's see if there's anything I want to do to them. I do like how raw these are. I really like this one. I do really like how raw these are, so I'm going to leave those for now. And I'm going to call it a day. And then look at all, all the pieces with fresh eyes again. I hope this insight in how I make changes at this late stage has inspired you to take some risks with your paintings. Especially if you have a painting that's close to being finished but doesn't really excite you yet. Next week you will finally see me finish the collection. So just as a reminder, the collection will be available next week and my newsletter subscribers always get 24 hours early access. So if you're interested, then sign up via the link in the description box below. You can watch the whole playlist of me creating this series so far if you click the link up here. Thanks and bye bye. I'll even add a little bit of the 